Hello lovelies, how are you all doing today? I hope you're well. Uh, that light behind me from the window that's quite bright on the camera, doesn't it, on screen? It's a lie, it's a lie I tell you. It is not bright. It is positively dull and very, very wet. So this is my kind of morning after the night before. Uh, last time you saw me, I was in the garden getting wet with that rain that came early, just doing my hand washing. I'm just going to crack through a load of jobs today. <clears throat> I thought we might as well hang out while I'm doing it. <clears throat> yeah, so one of the main things today, just have to clean more time a sec. Yeah, one of the main things today is to, can you hear me over the water? Didn't look this through. It's to do with um, some of the harvests that have been coming home. Can we do? Can we do? But yeah, more than anything, it's just, you know what, make the most of, make the most of time. That's what I'm always saying, isn't it? And if I can't be in the garden uh, because of the weather, what else can I be doing? Final little rinse, that'll do them. Just a bit of cold. <clears throat> yeah, wool socks. So I hand wash them. And we are definitely, definitely, definitely getting to the season of wool socks again, aren't we? Um, just talking of that, while I hang these up and we'll crack into these other jobs, I'm going to do the cute seed saving as well. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I did a bit of um, I did a bit of a, a little bit of a wardrobe inventory the other day. Just get myself a couple of pegs. I'm loving my old kiln the jars from Auntie Teapot. They're great for storing all sorts. Yeah, I did a bit of an inventory a couple of days ago because I found last weekend I wanted to put on, um, I needed to put a pair of thermals on and then I think it was either the Saturday or the Sunday night, we weren't below freezing, it hadn't been forecast to go below freezing but it did, I was cold, I'm not putting the heating on yet. So I went and put a pair of sort of pyjama bottoms on over the top of the thermals, you know, two layers. But honestly, this, oh, excuse me, fluff. This pair of um, pyjama bottoms, I mean, they're threadbare. They're, they're threadbare, they've been repaired over and over. They've got patches on them and falling to pieces. So I have, wash the courgettes that came home from the garden as well because they're a little bit muddy, a little bit muddy. I'm going to be making some soup later so yeah just a um, little, it's just a, um, what do you call it, sisal, it's like sisal so it's gentle enough on the skin <coughs> but it's enough to just get the mud off. Actually I think this larger one, the skin the skin is on its way to curing, so when I come to make soup, this one might be skinned, as in remove the skin. These two not, because they're still little and, oh, I can see my thumbnail's just gone through the skin. The skin is still um, tender. What's the train of thought? That's probably going to be the case a lot today, as I, as I try and just get through um, myriad jobs. What was I talking about? Laundry, pegs, doesn't matter. If it's important, I'll remember it. <coughs> yeah, so uh, very much an indoor day today, but also what I'm bearing in mind, as I always do, oh yes, no thermals, winter, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I do normally come back to what I was thinking about. Do 
did this little bit of an inventory and I thought, you know what, I need, I need to invest a little bit. So I've been really good. I've been really good. I mean, basically for the last two and a half years about not spending and like birthday money or Christmas money or lavender bag money or bonding money or making curtains for people money, anything like that. I just keep putting it all away and not having treats despite wanting them. So I have just ordered, I've spent a little bit on two pairs of, I was talking the other day about lounge pants, let's call them, but they're quite thick, but they look like they're still fluid enough to be comfortable to be in. So two pairs of those, an extra pair of thermal long johns, because I had three pairs last summer, but one, last summer, last winter, but one pair just completely split. I uh, need that knife in a second. Yeah, they just they just kept splitting and splitting in various parts of the seams, and I got I must have had them out on the sewing machine oh 15 times over the winter. Anyway, they gave up the ghost. So another pair of the long johns and two more long sleeve thermal tops. And I'm hoping, oh, and a pair of wrist warmers because I've got my beautiful fingerless gloves. You remember the ones that are they're hand knitted with all the little garden designs and they're beautiful, but they're really, really precious. And last winter I wore them loads. This is for wearing indoors when it gets really cold. And I just kept thinking, I don't, I don't want to hurt them. They're so precious. I only want to, I want to save them for best. So I bought a pair of wrist warmers as well, because actually they make a huge difference. So yeah, I did that little kind of, oh, stock take, what have I got? What, what did I feel like I lacked last winter? I remember last winter is the first time I've had thermals in decades. I was like, yes, I can survive with these. So um, one of the reasons for mentioning it today is um yeah i think it's probably a good time to get on with things like that because pop that plate behind you because i think other folk are maybe going to be having similar ideas and it's possible that some stock may sell out right we'll do the cucumber in a sec yeah what i was saying about the light it's just rubbish so when I have days like this at home, once we get into this time of year, I mean, sunset at the moment is it's about six o'clock, which means dusk, you know, from half five, we're done with the light. Actually, really from five o'clock onwards, we're done with the light. So in terms of, you know, being out in the garden, doing things, you know, bearing in mind, right, okay, I need to be done by five. But also the other kind of stuff I do, so photographing not filming because of course with filming I can just I can put the house lights on but photographing shop stock sewing if I'm doing a bit of sewing I've got a little bit of hand sewing to do today a repair to do so yeah just thinking about right what am I so last night I sat down and made a great long list of everything I want to try and get through today and then if it's something that needs light, I do a little, almost like an asterisk to represent the sun next to it. So I can think, right, I need to do those things in the daytime. And also anything that requires being in touch with a company or a service or a shop in terms of opening hours. So I'm gonna be going out in a minute. Right, the reason I've got my, this is the mother pelagonium, the white one, I love the white. I absolutely butchered this back at, I think it was the beginning of September for cuttings to have, I wanted three little pots on the bathroom window so kept the mother plant and look how beautifully she's come back and I'm glad because <laughs> that's one of the pots from the bathroom. Yeah, I think it just sort of rotted off. I didn't even go. Anyway, so I'm gonna set that aside for now. And, oh, hello. Get a jar on with some water. 
old jam jar and give myself, take another cutting today. And I think, I haven't got my garden knife here, so I'm just gonna use scissors, yikes. Take that little bit off. Yeah, and hopefully that will root. The other two have rooted, well, I thought they'd all rooted fine, but I think maybe this one, that one that didn't make it, I just potted it up just a little bit too soon. So that can just sit on the side now, but the other two are, they're looking absolutely gorgeous. In fact, one of them's got a little flower on it right now. It's all about staging for when I come to sell the flower. Well, you know what? I was going to say it's all about staging. It's also about what I like as well. I like having my plants up. Can you see the one, see my kitchen window? They're all looking really good, aren't they? I have, I, I said in that last video when I was doing the house parts, I'm determined to look after my house plants this time around. Now, cucumber, seed saving. And then, my next thing, once this is done, I think the, the rain is easing up a little bit. So I'm gonna go out, I have a shop order to take to the post office. I've also got a shop order which, it's actually someone local, so I'm gonna go and deliver it by hand. A little bit of extra service from Vivi. Save them the postage. So yeah, post office, deliver um, an order locally. Also, what I tend to do with my stairs, I try to amuse them once a day. So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go out to the post office, in other words, if I'm gonna be using those stairs today, let's make the most of it. What else do I need while I'm outside? I don't really need much by way of shopping. I need some loo rolls and some glue. I'll get those while I'm out. But also, because they're downstairs, my meters, I'm gonna read my meters. Um, but before I do any of that, let me tip you down so you can see what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> cucumber seed saving. So I've got my really quite ripe cucumber from the garden. I've got a big old jar. I've got a <laughs> psycho knife. <laughs> quite a big knife and a spoon. Let me just reposition you, tip you down a little bit. This kind of seed saving it couldn't be more simple. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of the, that slightly grotty end. Let me put that over there, that can go back to the garden. Uh, yes, so all I'm gonna do, cut down the middle, it's gone a bit loop loop, <laughs> so it's a bit rubbery to cut. Oh, the smell. I, it's one of the most beautiful smells, isn't it, cucumber? It's so clean and fresh and gorgeous, even at this very ripe stage. So, The other super duper ripe one, I actually left it in the shed for now because my granny trolley got full and I didn't want it to basically squish. Easy, right. I wonder which side's gonna be used to show. I think I've cut into this side a bit further. Then, <laughs> it's hard to show you where the camera is. I need you on the other side. Oh, never mind. Literally all you're gonna do is Scrape, see they're going flying, it can be a bit messy. Scrape out those seeds. Hang on a sec, they don't want to come out of this little end bit. Okay, scrape, scrape, scrape. The ones that have gone onto the board I can gather up in a second. <clears throat> right, excuse this being back to you with for a second. Yeah. Gotcha. Go on, get in there. There's so many. 
honestly how many seeds in one plant maybe maybe 50 maybe more it's certainly one cucumber is enough for my seed saving plus enough to share so i wonder if you can be able to the light's so poor today isn't it if i get am i causing the shadow maybe i am you see there's loads in there and this is the great bit that's pretty much it i mean i'll have a clear up and save some of these on here let me just bring you back up to talk to you because you I'm bending double and losing my breath. So that's it. Couldn't be easier. It's going to pop the lid on. Um, <clears throat> it's going to get a little bit smelly. Now, the principle behind this, this is the fermentation method. All the seeds, hang on a sec, and you can do this with tomato seeds too. Some people don't bother. You know, if you've done it before different ways and it works for you, fine. Carry on doing it your own way. The way I'm doing it isn't incorrect. It's not the most correct, it's just the way I do it and it works. So, you can see there's quite a bit of juice came with them as well. If it was really dry, I'd add a little bit of water just to help. <clears throat> but over the next few days, <clears throat> that sort of gelatinous material around each seed, <clears throat> in nature, what would happen is, these will burst open on the soil, release the seeds, they've got that gelatinous stuff around them and that will protect them for a little while and that will gradually break down. And once it's broken down, the seed is exposed, then the seed goes, oh, I'm in soil, it's getting warm, time to grow. So all I'm doing with this fermentation method is just helping to get rid of all that gelatinous stuff. Then I can have clean, dry seeds, perfect for posting to family and friends. So I leave them like that and over the next sort of four or five days it will start getting a bit scummy on the top, a bit mouldy, a bit rank um, as it all ferments and during the fermentation that's when that jelly all breaks down. So in another week's time or so, <clears throat> I think if it was warmer it might happen more quickly but I'll check them in a week or 10 days or six days, I will tip, firstly, I'll get a spoon and I'll scrape the mouldy scum off the top and chuck it, don't want to be handling it. Then the rest, I'll just tip them into a sieve, run them under the cold tap, just give them a little bit of a wash off and they should be done. And then all I'll do is I'll spread them out on a tea towel to dry, 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 dry. Once they're bone dry, put them in packets, save them for next year cheap as chips. This is a variety called Long Green Marecha. It's actually a French variety. It's Vert Long Marecha and they are suitable for growing outdoors. I love them. People often say, could I do that with <clears throat> a cucumber from the supermarket or other such? Well, in theory you can, as in save the seed to grow from it next year. In theory you can. However, a couple of things. One, say with cucumber. The cucumber that you're going to buy in the supermarket, the seeds inside it are really immature because that cucumber is small, tight, green. Um, it's just, it's kind of at the beginning of its cycle, really. That's when we want to eat it. You don't see cucumbers like that in the supermarket. This is when the, the seeds are really mature and ripe and perfect for seed saving. So. I would say the seeds aren't ready in the supermarket cucumber. But also, I doubt very much, you might get it occasionally, I've never seen it myself. You don't know what variety that cucumber is. Is it an F1? In other words, has it, has it been bred from two different plants? Have they been crossed to make the plant, to make the, the variety that we buy in the supermarket? So if that's the case, if you grow that seed on, it's going to revert to either this parent or that parent, and it may not be very good. <clears throat> so you don't know what you're going to get. And then thirdly, in terms of sort of disease, etc., etc., 
I just think it's better to either buy your seed from a trusted seed supplier or from your own saved seed. So for example, I know that my cukes don't have any disease, so they're safe to save and use again. But you know what, by all means, try, experiment. I know there'll be a load of you who say, oh, I always save squash seeds from the supermarket and I always get great squash. That's brilliant. That's more luck than design though. So yeah, um, they will sit on the side for a few days. I won't sit on the side for a few days. I'm gonna go off and do my outside stuff and then we can reconvene when I get back and fingers crossed. I'm not taking the granny trolley today though. So I could in theory have a spare hand for a brolly. <laughs> But I hope I don't get wet. Oh, a bit warm. Uh, right, just going to make a note of the previous. Just getting my meter readings submitted. That's. It's kind of, I'm home. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, da, da, da. Yes. Bonkers weather. I've got a vest, a long sleeve tee, and a little jumper on. Didn't wear my hoodie out. I've come back. I'm actually really quite warm. Uh, strip a layer. So I'm just. It's turning. It's all about winter and weather today. Um, just putting my uh, meter readings in. I do it every month. I'm very um, rigorous, scrupulous about doing it every month. Yes, good. And keeping track. So, as you know from last year, you know, our energy prices went through the roof. I mean, crazy. Just, uh, criminal. <laughs> Anyway, um, last winter, over the course of six months, we all, everyone in the nation, got that £65 assistance from the government. So, with the 60, so that went on for six months. I think it was like October, November, December, January, February, March. So, the 65 from the government, the 80 that I normally pay, it's 145, 145 a month. And turning everything off, my bills were coming out at around 145, 150 a month. I mean, it's crazy. I was using so little. Anyway, this winter we're not getting that 65. Um, prices have come down a little bit, not much. So through the whole year, I've continued to pay 80 pounds. So I've overpaid again this summer. Um, so one of the reasons I do my readings every month and then I I calculate my usage and da, da, da. obviously I get a bill I, I once I've done this now probably tomorrow sometimes I get it the same day but they'll send me my calculation for the month so obviously my the, the amount I'm using and therefore the amount I owe the company it, you know it fluctuates but I'm still paying you know a uh, top banana to build credit so that come this winter um, without that government assistance like I said we all had it didn't matter how rich or poor a household was that was one of the arguments and saying you know if 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 people are out there if they're multi-millionaires why are they getting the 65 quid maybe give less to them and slightly more to the poorer families or you know families where They've got someone at home who is on medical equipment which is plugged in all the time. Anyway, politics, let's not go there. So, I've got, so I've built up a little bit of a buffer over April, May, June, July, August, September. But I think it's going to literally be another winter with the heating off. Um, I'm still not using my oven. Someone was saying when I harvested the first of those cabbages, they've all been great. Was I going to make my cabbage pie? And I love cabbage pie, but you know what? No, not putting the oven on. Um, just doing all my cooking on the stove top. And before anyone <laughs> says anything, no, I'm not going to start doing hay boxes and all that kind of stuff. I don't have 
time. I mean, I've got, you know, 20 minutes to sort myself out with food, pretty much it. So I'm not doing hay boxes. I'm not about to buy a microwave. Where am I gonna put a microwave? I don't have anywhere to put one. I'm fine with the stove top. And it's one of those things, isn't it? This is not about me being poor or super frugal or whatever. It's about, it's about our government not really being terribly good. Let's leave it at that. Right, um, so also on my way in, I'll cover the address up. I've had a note from Sue. You recognize your writing, Sue? Thank you, lovely. Your script, your writing is beautiful. It's such a lovely script and perfectly readable. Anyway, Sue was just dropping me a line of encouragement, really. A bit of a cuddle, uh, you know, the whole, what a year. <laughs> it's been a crazy year. Move house, deal with your sister, da, da, da. Oh. Right, so now that's done, um, I'm gonna do some maths. I've just, I've got my, today's reading, last month's reading, I'll do the maths and I'll keep it in a, um, on a chart in a file in my bureau, so I'll go and do that. Then I'm gonna cook some courgettes into soup, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna get lunch underway. This morning has disappeared. All my outside stuff is done, good. I'll take my shoes off and I can relax. Cook, wash up, eat a bit and then I think I don't need to show you this it'll be boring oh suddenly I'm just looking in the front actually you can can you see yeah you can see through into the front room can't you see that's a bin bag of beans to be podded what you can't quite see because it's behind here are 20 what was the final I think it's 26 of my large paper sacks of lavender to start processing. So that's lined up for this evening, for me to work on this evening. Um, but it's like I was mentioning about the light, they can wait until it's dark. I was about to say after lunch, I'm gonna go, I've got a load of shop stock to photograph and I do it in that front window because it faces south, gets nice light. However, I've just looked through there and it looks like doomsday is rolling in. It's going dark again. Also, just to say, when I was out, it was dry. I missed, I missed the most recent shower. It's really muggy though. Maybe we're getting a storm. Maybe something's gonna go crash bang wallop. This is one of those things um, with my my day and my planning and trying to fit everything in. Is that was going to be the next job after lunch. Uh, I don't always stop for lunch, but today I'm going to stop for lunch, feeling peckish. And besides, those courgettes need cooking. Um, yeah, I'm trying to organise my day, and I'm looking there now, and I'm thinking, I don't think that's enough light for me to photograph the stock, which is annoying because it needs doing. So what I can do instead is I can do all the work on the computer for the stock. So that's the description, title, description, the weight, the stock levels, all that kind of back end stuff that I do that you don't see when you have a look at the shop. I can do all of that, but just not have the photos with them and therefore not make the, the items go live yet. That would be a good use of time on a dull day so that all of that is done and then literally the minute there's enough light, I can photo, add the photo, photo, add the photo, photo, add the photo. That's what I'm gonna to have to do. I'm gonna to have to turn my day around. So I think that's the big thing about being sort of self-sufficient-ish, you know, all that kind of working for yourself. You, you, you do have to be flexible best laid plans, you know, if I planned to do a garden day and the forecast is wrong and suddenly it's tipping with rain, right, okay, so I can't do the garden, what will I do instead? I still need to be productive. Okay, I'll stay at home, I'll photograph stock. Ah, it's gone too dark to photograph stock. Okay, it doesn't mean I get the afternoon off. <laughs> I just do something else. Right, okay, shut up for now. We'll reconvene a bit later. Um, what am I doing? Oh, making lunch. So I'm gonna do my number crunching, get that written down, make myself lunch and just have a nice 
quiet five, ten minutes sitting with my lunch before I crack into everything else today. I'm back, just briefly before I start lunch. I've just done my numbers for my um, meter readings on my little chart that I've got here in my lap. And um, so my gas units have gone up ever so slightly this last 30 day period i don't know what the date is today 19th 20th 21st something like that of october um so the gas has gone up ever so slightly now I, I was sort of expecting that because i have put the heating on for about three hours in total in the last week or so but even so have i had an extra i might have had an extra couple of baths anyway never mind that the electricity has gone down in my number of units and I was thinking well that's odd because I'm pretty consistent with my electricity usage um, you know the freezer, the freezer and the fridge are on all the time the washing machine is turned off at the mains it's only and my washing hasn't gone up or down the computer's about the same I was expecting it to slightly nudge up because of course the days are getting shorter therefore the lights are going on earlier and I was looking at that and I couldn't work it. Why has it come down? Have I done something wrong? I've been back downstairs to go and check that I wrote the right number down. So much for only going down the stairs once today. Uh, I've done it correctly. And I've worked it out and I thought that's about, that's almost like four, four and a half, five days of use that's not on my bill, what I mean, that's not in my meter. What's gone on? And then, of course, the I was away in Swanage, wasn't I? <laughs> so that's that little mystery solved. So yeah, I mean, that accommodation in Swanage was quite expensive, but at least I wasn't paying electricity here while I was away. It's one of those things. I think it's. I, look, I know that some of you hate numbers. They freak you out completely. I get it. But if you're not terrified of numbers, I think it's one of those things to keep really close tabs on. You might even have smart meters and all that that do it for you. But I know roughly, um, even down to, a, I know roughly how much it costs me per day for my electricity, excluding the standing charge. That's the expensive bit. I don't know if I explained that properly earlier, but this part of the issue with our bills is that standing charge is so high now and for those outside the UK who don't know the standing charge is what we pay simply to be connected so throughout the summer I might have only used you know about four pounds worth of gas per month but my bill was for gas was 20 pounds a month 16 pounds or whatever just to be connected i mean there are times when i think look just disconnect the gas then save 16 quid a month i'll buy an electric heater i did i actually was thinking that the other day it's like i'm paying 16 quid just to be plumbed in i it's 16 quid, i can't quite remember but then i suddenly thought oh hang on a minute my hob is gas how am i going to cook my hot water it's like i'll boil a kettle have a wash and boil a kettle put it in the sink, wash with that, but no. Anyway, so yeah, um, mystery solved. My electricity for the last 30 days is going to be about four and a half days cheaper because I wasn't here for four and a half days. Yay! Right, now I am going to make lunch. I used to a big yawn. <laughs> uh. It's a great, it's a great sound, isn't it? I love it. This kind of crack of the dry pod. And then the beans, I needed to do a big yawn. Then the beans falling into the bowl. But the best bit got a little array of bowls separating my different beans but the best 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 bit is that moment at the end of oh, oh the finger dive the finger dive into all the beans oh i love it love it love it love it <clears throat> okay so it's obviously a few hours later 
just gone oopla black ones it's just gone seven I'm flagging <laughs> I always do I always do um that tiredness thing it's a weird one isn't it that I've had people say to me oh you know you should stop you should stop sooner we're afraid of tiredness it's okay to be tired <clears throat> excuse me you know what it's okay to be tired um in about four or five hours i'll be in bed i'll be asleep doing something like the beans it doesn't take any i was going to say it doesn't take any concentration i need to concentrate on which bowls they're going to but even if i put the wrong bean in the wrong bowl i'll sort it out later Anyway, so yes, I'm just starting in on the beans. Um, I've done about half an hour. It's quite a slow thing, but it's a lovely thing. Like I said, the noises, the the texture. The, uh, I think there's about an hour's worth to go. So I don't know, eight, just gone eight. Then I've got the first bag here of lavender to strip brilliant it feels like it's been a really good day today um <clears throat> like i said yeah i am tired but i think also you know the seasons are changing the season is has changed it I, I always think it takes our bodies a little time to adjust to you know lack of daylight a bit colder uh, and i think that kind of just slightly lowers our ebb a bit but that's why it's great to do this kind of job in the evening because, like I said, it's, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't take too much thing. I'm just going to put them down for a minute. I'll put them over there because I want to, oh, I want to wrap things up a little bit with you. Um, yeah, it's been a good day today. I'll go through for why in a sec. I think realistically eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think today I'll probably call it quits around about ten, ten thirty, <clears throat> and then crack into more tomorrow. I could say with the lavender, I could carry on until midnight because I'll be awake till midnight. I'll be up beyond midnight, usually around about midnight. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know where this this is either come from or not going to. Yeah, quite often midnight is when I think, okay, now I'm going to watch a DVD or read my book or whatever. But otherwise, I could always, with the lavender, I can, you know, I can put the radio on. I can play something online and carry on. But I do think it's important, even though I've just said that about, you know, carry on working through tiredness. I do think it's important for me to have a clear mark of saying, right, I'm not going to work because even though lavender doing that, it's relaxing, it's still work. So yeah, probably about half 10, 11 tonight, I'll stop everything and I'll curl up. I've got a book on the go. Oh, can't wait to talk about that. Talking of books, I'll tell you about something in a sec. But yeah, it's now, you know, the light's gone, so this is the time to do the really tedious stuff like the lavender and the beans. I say tedious, it's enjoyable, but it's tedious. It's repetitive and boring and blah, blah, blah. So, but otherwise, <laughs> why was today a good day? Um, I made a couple of notes a minute ago. So, in terms of frugal, self-sustaining and all that, you know, I've started the day with seed saving. Brilliant. That means next year when I come to sow, for example, cucumber, all the beans, I have free seeds. Yay! That's free stuff. I'm going to refer to my notes. Um, I also took a little, just a little teeny tiny cutting of that geranium plant. That's a free plant that's free staging for when I come to um, sell the flat. It's all free stuff this morning. 
Um, lunch, um, what did I have? Courgette soup. So I had to buy the spud because I didn't grow any spuds this year. I got a big, I got a chunky monkey. <laughs> I just bought it loose. Chunky Monkey Spot. It was 27p, but it was massive. And I've actually ended up with six portions of soup. So I think with all the costs, you know, stock, cardamom, I think it's about 10 pence a portion, my lunch. And there are five more portions, two in the fridge, three in the freezer. Lunch for 10 pence. And actually... <clears throat> I really can't be bothered cooking tonight, so I'm just going to grab another portion from the fridge about 10 o'clock and have that as my supper. So, two meals today, 10 pence each, 20p for me food. So I've got free seeds, I've got free plants for staging the house. Lunch and supper for 20p. Um, oh, we had, oh, hallelujah, about... 45 minutes worth of the sun came out totally unexpected it was dark 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 suddenly the sun came out the clouds parted there was blue sky sunshine brilliant 45 minutes 10 items for the shop photographed <laughs> it's going really quick it's like come on come on while the lights here so that was a really good 45 minutes spent doing 10 items for the shop I haven't uploaded them to the shop yet because that's the bit that takes a really long time. But 10 items, let's say an average of £1.50 profit on each of them. So that's 15 quid's worth of stock sorted out today. I give some money to Macmillan from everything sold. So it's actually, mm, what's 20% of 15? three three quid goes to Macmillan so it's 12 quid for me so 45 minutes today I'll do all the uploading tomorrow 10 items will take an hour and a half so two and a quarter hours across these two days should hopefully generate for me 12 pounds yay uh, it's about five pounds an hour that's worth it so what else so I'm um, obviously I'm podding my beans so that's food for the winter to come. <clears throat> and in essence, it's free food. Well, it's never quite free because we have allotment rent. So the allotment rent is one pound a week. <clears throat> the bean poles um, have been used over and over and over again. But let's say, you know, two quid's worth of bean pole. I mean, let's not argue. The seed that I put into the ground was free because it's my own seed saving from last year. So all of these beans now, this is food for the winter, which is essentially free-ish. I know people are going to go labour charges, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's only cost me my time. Later on, I'll be processing some lavender. And of course, that is going to go into the bags that I make to sell. <clears throat> so, so yeah, as far as a, a little sort of self, not self-sufficient, but self-reliant life, I've lined up some cheap slash free food, free seeds for next year, a bit of free stuff for staging for the flat sale, a little bit of income generated by way of the stock and this video that I've made today. Oh, and of course, I've completely forgot. So this video that I've made today, but also this afternoon, I made another video, video within a video. I went and sat on my chatty chair and I talked about some stuff, including books, which you'll see probably in the next video. That's a good day. That's a lot done. Now, the video I filmed in the chair, talking about books and stuff, that is now, it's in the computer, it's now rendering. I've, I have, <laughs> I can't talk. I've edited it and it's now rendering and it will go up to YouTube tonight, probably. So this video of us talking, uh, let's say, let's say done at eight. Well, I can't edit it because the other one will be still rendering and going to YouTube. So this one, the processes will happen tomorrow and it's about, it'll be about five hours in total. 
the work for this video tomorrow but most of it is the computer doing it apart from the bit where I add it most of it's the computer that's going to be doing it while that's happening I can't upload my new shop store I can't do anything on the computer so instead I will do something like I'll do more lavender or I've got more stuff to bring back from the garden, more harvests to bring back. I might have a mammoth cooking session. I'll basically be doing two things at once. This video on the computer and something else. Using up the time really, really well. I'm chuffed today. I'm really, really happy. I'd probably look more happy if I wasn't so... Ugh. But honestly, I think the huh is as much to do with the fact that it's dark already, it's cold, colder than anything else. But yeah, um, that's how to do frugal the Vivi way. <laughs> Just don't spend, generate, and, uh, and grow as much of your own food as possible. If you are blessed to have an allotment or a back garden, whatever it is, yeah, get some food growing. Oh, that's what I need to do. I think that's enough for one video, isn't it? So I'm going to see you again soon. There's the books to come. And of course, and I don't mean this as a tease, I'm just waiting for the weather, the squash harvest. Oh, can't wait for that one. Um, and the annual squash on the table photo. It's become a bit of a lovely tradition, hasn't it? And I think if I didn't publish that, I think it'd all tell me off. I like that. Tell me off. So, yeah, stuff coming up. Um, and I've got loads of stuff coming up that's indoor stuff to show and share. Can't wait. Bring it on. Bring on the winter. I'm ready. I've got me thermals. I'm ready. <laughs> all right, gorgeous teas. For today that's it please look after yourselves look after your harvests make the most of them and i will see you all really soon i hope until then cheerio